Hello everyone, this is Hars and you are watching WPF World. Today I am going to start WPF tutorial series. Welcome to WPF tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will cover the basics of WPF. Take a look at some of the key concepts that you need to understand in order to get started with WPF. And also we will cover how to build a simple WPF application from scratch. By the end of this tutorial, we will have basic understanding of how to create WPF application and how to handle the user input. So without wasting the time, let's get started. What is WPF? WPF stands for Windows Presentation Foundation and it is a framework for building desktop application on Windows platform. It allows developers to create user interface that are resolution independent and scalable, meaning that they can be automatically adjusted to look good on wide range of devices and screen sizes. WPF also provides a rich set of controls and features for creating user-friendly interfaces. Includes supports for 2D and 3D graphics, animation and multimedia. Now let's see how to create a WPF application. To create a WPF application, we have to open the Visual Studio. Once Visual Studio open, you have to click on File, click on New and then click on Project. Here you can type WPF app and here you can select WPF app.NET framework version. Because I am going to develop a WPF application using the C Sharp, so I will select C Sharp. Click on next. Now here you can give the project name. I will say project name as WPF tutorial series. Here you can select the framework version. For now I will keep it as dot it. Now click on create. Visual Studio will create one blank WPF application. You can click on solution explorer and you can see this project WPF tutorial series. Here you can see app.jml and main window.jml. This is the window what we are going to see when we run the WPF application. This app.jml file is responsible to show the main window.jml. If you open app.jml, you can see the startup URI as main window.jml. And if you open main window.jml, you can see the UI here like this. Let's add some control in our main window. How to add it? You can click on toolbox. Here you can search for button. And you can drag and drop here. It should be inside the grid like this and you can change the property of button using the property tab here you can change the font of the text of this button you can change the appearance of the button you can add the content to the button i will say click click me once you enter the text and click outside you will see here content equal to click me right by mistake it was clicked on each cancel that's why it is showing each cancel equal to true i will remove it it is removed now now let's run and see the output see this is the button and text is click me okay this is one way of adding the control to the window you can also use tag to create the control i will add text block control here and here i can say text equal to this is wpf tutorial series and you can end this tag like this now if you run this you can see this text in main window you can see this one this is wpf tutorial series right like this and this is the button control we will see in later video how to adjust the controls in window let's understand what is xml WPF uses extensible application markup language that is XML to define the user interface of WPF application. XML is declarative markup language that is used to create an initialize object as well as set property and event on those object. You can think of XML as a way to describe the structure and content of user interface in simple human readable format. WPF includes a wide range of controls that you can use to build your user interface. Some common controls includes button, text box, text block, list box, menu. You can use this control in your XML code by adding elements that correspond to the control type you want to use. For example, to add button to your user interface, you would add a button element to your XML. Or if you want to add text box, then you can use text box element to your XML. Let's add the text box. How to add this? Text box like this we can use the text box element and we can int like this or you can also int like this okay for now i will remove this let's run and see see this is the text box you can type anything here 
you can also adjust width and height of the text box i will say 200 and i will say height equal to 30 let's run and see you can enter any text here right now we will learn how to handle the event in WPF. WPF controls can raise events when certain action occur, such as user clicking a button or typing in a text box. You can handle this event by writing event handler method in your code behind files. To do this, you first need to specify the event you want to handle in your JML code using the click attribute for the button. Then in your code behind file, you can create a method with the same name as event you specify in your jml code this method will be called whenever the event is raised let's see with an example i will add a button control here and i will say content equal to click and here i will say width equal to 100 and height equal to 30 okay now i want to show the message when user click on this button for that we have the click event here we have to add the event name okay so i will say click event okay now if you click here f12 it will generate the click event in main window.jml.cs file now to show the message i will use message box dot show here i will say welcome to wpf tutorial series now let's run and see now whenever we click on this button it will raise an event and it will call this method click event it will show this message okay now let's see let's click on it see welcome to wpf tutorial series okay click on okay it will close in this tutorial we covered the basics of creating a wpf application and working with jml and controls in future tutorials we will explore more advanced topics such as data binding and styling thanks for joining me and i hope you are now ready to start building your own wpf application if you found this video helpful let's share with